hello everyone and welcome back to Boulder Cove. This is episode 16 and I'm once again saying that this episode is going to be something different. Uh, but I actually mean it this time. I'm uh, going to change it up a little bit. I'm uh, going to have a more uh, laid back approach. Just going to do some um, changing to the traffic. Trying to fix some issues we got there. As well as... Uh, Going over the new DLC and talking about what they, uh, what's gonna be all about, and you know my thoughts on the uh, DLC and basically this entire game uh, going forward. So uh, um, yeah, should be should be good. Uh, first of all, I I have this issue. You see the edges on buildings; they're constantly moving. Uh, it's uh, I don't know what it is. Uh, it has something to do with, uh, uh, what's it called, anti-aliasing, Al aliasing, yeah I don't know, uh, it is enabled so it, it shouldn't be that bad as it is, but uh, yeah, here we are. Um, I also just made this video uh, just to uh, make sure that you guys... Um, First of all, that you're all right. Um, that is, of course, very important. Um, and I uh, want to make sure that uh, you um, are ready for the weekend because I have, if everything goes to plan, I have a pretty big um, upload coming uh, this Sunday. That is, that is, if everything goes to plan, of course. But uh, this Sunday. Uh, something pretty cool will uh, be uploaded. It is a new series, uh, however it is something that I will have working on on the side. So this will still be a weekly thing, uh, or at least I'll try to make it a weekly thing, but uh, this will still be the main thing. Uh, that series will come out maybe once a month, and it will be very much, of course, uh, very much corresponding to this series. Um, I think that's, it's okay to just say what it is actually. Uh, it is, series is called uh, Stories of Boulder Cove and it's basically just a wrap up of some, some of the stories that you have created um, so that I sort of get them implemented and get them uh, you know, show them off to more people because not everyone gets to read them in a uh, in the comments so I want to shed some light on that and uh, that's why that new series uh, has been uh, it's going to start uh, in a few days that is if you watch this at the day I upload um, and also in that video I will be giving out some pretty huge announcements so it's um, I think it's best for all of us if you catch that one uh, I've been working really hard on that episode so um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to releasing it out to the public, but um, that's in a few days, if everything goes to plan. Uh, this is what we're going to do right now. Um, I thought we'd just do a quick uh, recap of the first 15 episodes. We come up pretty far away, I think. Uh, this is the only thing that we've been working on, or only thing. This is this is the part of the map that we have uh, developed, and it's pretty much finished all the way up to this point, right here. So I thought uh, maybe we're gonna start that next week around this part. Um, I thought about uh, like a small town and a lot of forestry, so forestry industry. Um, that's my idea in this area. Maybe also we tackle this thing, but I also want to start working on the, uh, the main city that's going to be uh, here. Um, because we should really start on it pretty soon, because that's not something we're going to do in one episode, not even four or five. That might take a really long time, because maybe you need a few episodes for the downtown, and then maybe for the a few episodes for the harbor or like airport or whatever so you need a few 
you need a decent amount of episodes for that one um, but I wanted to start it pretty early so that we could have a f working on the t uh, working on the city uh, the capital and then uh, every now and then we jump over to maybe somewhere else work on that jump back in so it doesn't get you know repetitive because then it's uh, it's not really fun for me to just do the same thing over and over again so um, yeah that is the reasoning behind that one um, but uh, yeah uh, three episodes four episodes we've been working on this one I, I think it's gonna be the second largest city in Boulder Cove and the um, the stories of Boulder Co episode that will be released pretty soon it's gonna be about this place so you're gonna need you're gonna hear what it's called the history um, you're gonna learn about every single aspect of this uh, of this city uh, it's pretty cool it's pretty cool but uh, what I want to do first is get out of this place and go back to uh, Norton, which is the um, first town that we made because there are uh, traffic jams <laughs> quite long ones actually uh, and it's uh, this bad boy right here this is the ah um, oh, this is the culprit we need to work on that one um, as you can see and as you as you know they're using one lane um, I can turn on like dynamic lane switching uh, in traffic manager, the mod, but it, it just um, it takes a toll on the uh, simulation. Um, I would rather just keep it off. Uh, it's not really that much needed, but uh, or it looks like it is needed. But I just needed to make a few changes, and I think this will work because this is absolutely crazy I used to have a set of lights here but the, the red lights they lasted for so long that it, it it just got actually worse than this so um but yeah how you see it just cars just driving in right in the middle of the road and just praying that they don't get run over by a what was it called this thing like a, it's not called a mining truck but any kind of vehicle. Um, so what I thought is, I didn't really want to create a interchange, but I think I have to. I I, I originally wanted it to be a simple uh, intersection, but uh, I I don't think that is a possibility anymore, sadly. So uh, uh, let's just get rid of a little bit here. Um, a little bit more yeah so we see what we got uh, got to work with um, what I can do is I can take this road continue that one all the way because what I thought I could do what I sort of know works uh, is uh, is just to have the uh, have the uh, highway here continue and just have uh, it's called slip lanes going out so it's those who are driving just to get through they don't ever have to stop uh, just if you're going into the city here or town whatever um, but I'll do this um, what road I'm using this one after I've finished up this area I'll I might finish up something else and then I'll have a um, do we'll talk a little bit more about the DLC or maybe we could do it now um, just have a quick chat um, to be honest I'm surprised I'm surprised that it even came a DLC I didn't quite expect that to happen I yes. Uh, I, I thought I, I think I also shed some light on that, but I, I thought uh, the um, 
they were working on a sequel. Um, and a lot of other people also thought that they, they were working on a sequel. Um, so yeah, I'm sort of like, yeah, I'm happy that new content is here. But then again, I was sort of looking forward to getting a, uh, basically an improved version um, in a sequel. Can I choose the right one here? Is this the right one? Yeah. Because a game can only last for so long, right? And this game has been lasting for five years. And I think it's still as popular now as it was um, the day of launch, like the first year. It might even be even more popular now than it, is, than it was. Um, and of course, DLCs, they... Uh, they help that going uh, help help keep that going but it only only works for a certain degree um, they can only keep doing that for for so long and I think they are reaching that limit where they sort of have to um, start working on something else because you know DLCs are great and all but they don't really add that much uh, someone do uh, and it looks like this one adds somewhat a huge amount but not really like not extremely huge amounts of course uh, And it's called Sunset Harbor, which I think is, uh, I never understood that name. When you think about like Sunset Harbor, I, th I first thought about like tourism, but apparently it's, it's everything else. <laughs> uh, and it, it doesn't quite have a, a, a theme, um, like I'm just going to redo all this, uh, maybe not. Like every other DLC had a theme. Uh, Mass Transit had Transit. Uh, Green Cities had, you know, uh, it, it's in the name, so it doesn't really. You, you should really realize when you just hear the name, uh, you should realize what what it's all about. But that's not a case in Sunset Harbor because you really don't know. <laughs> From just hearing the name what it could be what it could mean um, and it doesn't really have one thing that it um, adds to it, it seems to just be a bunch of smaller things that should actually been a part of the game in maybe previous DLCs god that is bright uh, <laughs> It really seems like a lot of um, like it would make sense if they were to like just have transit. Of course, that will be like a mass transit on done again, and probably wouldn't be. I wouldn't be too great, but but th then they mix in other stuff like like the fishing industry. Like, why wasn't that a part of the industry DLC? It. Like we, we clearly know that it's gonna be working exact same way as for example uh, forestry industry you're gonna paint down an area and then you say like fishing boats can go here you need a main building which is gonna be like the harbor or some sort of thing like why wasn't that a part of the industry DLC it seems like every aspect of this DLC is just stuff that didn't make it in other DLCs um, it's just, it doesn't quite make sense. It's, uh, it's quite all over the place, actually. Now, the question is, does this work, though? Is there enough room underneath here? I think it is. Like, this one should work quite nice, actually. Uh, let me just, um... 
fill in this area between the um, between the roads. Uh, I'll uh, keep this one like that. You know what? No, I'm not. Uh, I can probably start simulation again just to see what's going on. Um, and do I really need a road like this now? I don't really think I do. And I also think I have it the wrong way somewhere. Yeah, this way. Now they'll be able to get on the... Um, on the hallway. You shouldn't be needing to uh, switch lanes here. Oh, you absolute morons. What is going on? <laughs> I hate that you have to use this one. I absolutely hate it. There's no need. Uh, now let me go back. Because what I was praying that um, class lore was that what what I was praying that they were doing um, that was of course working on a sequel. Uh, I think I think a lot of people were hoping for that, as I said earlier. Oops, sorry. And I also already said this thing I think in a previous episode, but uh, yeah. A lot of mods should be incorporated into the base game. Um, what's really cool is that one mod has already been incorporated. Uh, stop that. And that is the um, Metro Overhaul mod. Because now the Metro can go on. Um, they don't have to go underground all the time. They can be uh, going above ground as well. Uh, or on the on the ground uh, what I really um, hope that they don't do uh, is that um, because the way they said already they talked about the uh, new metro it kind of sounded like um, it was you could only have it underground like usual or elevated uh, because I didn't see any um, any uh, any stations that were not elevated and were a metro. Uh, I might be wrong, and I, I hope I'm wrong, but uh, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want I don't want elevated um, metro tracks. Um, they work in some cities, but they're not going to work here. Um, I'm really happy with um, that they are going to incorporate that mod into the base game. Um, I will definitely use that in one of my cities because I have been not using it on purpose, uh, the Metro, uh, for a long time because I like to see I like to see transport going on. Uh, I like to see that it's working. I like to see that it's um, it, it gets people from A to B. And by just hiding everything underground, you don't really get the same experience. Uh, that's why I often use trains instead, or trams, or buses. Uh, I haven't uh, any public transport here. It will come, of course, sooner rather than later. But, uh, but with that mod being incorporated into the game um, by a paid DLC, then... Uh, then I definitely will like to use the uh, metro uh, in uh, in the series. Where I'll do it, I don't know, but uh, most likely the capital that I talked about earlier. Um, they're still being idiots. Uh, <laughs> that's a news flash. I don't know. I don't know how I can uh, fix that. The reason is because this is both a lane going forward and a lane going out. Uh, it's sort of... Uh, those 
the lane going out is a priority. It's programmed like that. So if it's the only way to go forward, yeah, they'll use that. Uh, they use that. Uh, um, completely forgot what it's called. They'll use that lane. But it's uh, when they have another option, like they do here, they'll use that one in instead. So it's a priority for those who are going off the highway. Even though it takes them longer and they have to create huge uh, traffic jams, they're still gonna do it because going out has a priority. And they'll, uh, if I were to just do this. Then of, of course everyone will be on one lane, and that actually might be that actually might be a clever thing. I'm actually gonna do try and do that. All right, scooch up, merge. Uh, you don't need to, but uh, everyone here is okay. There's not that. Mm, there's a lot more traffic going into the region than out, but did they? They spawn? Yeah, they do. But they do the same thing over here. Yeah, if they're going straight ahead, they'll change lane. Oh god! In a new DLC, they said that they're gonna do like major overhauls to a lot of stuff. I don't quite believe that. <laughs> I'll, I'll have to just wait and see. Um, god, what's this all about? <laughs> Alright, this should, this should work out. I'm gonna go and work on something else. And then we're gonna come back. And hopefully, if they're not, uh, if they're not idiots anymore, they should be alright. So, let's just say goodbye for now. And head on over to uh, this area. Because I wanted to place down a stadium. Uh, oh, god, that's bright again. <laughs> and... I want to place down a, I think I want both a soccer and American football stadium. Maybe like both of them combined. So let's, um, let's pause time. Um, no, let's not pause time. <laughs> There's no need. Let's, um, this is needed here, I think. They'll let me know if it is. <laughs> um, but uh, let's see. Let's search for football. I have something from the workshop. Uh, this, I think, is a uh, decal. Uh, this one is a uh, building. But what I think it is, it's. God, what's wrong with that color? But well, you see the um, the texture isn't uh, it's all right from this uh, angle or this length like far away zooming in it's not good at all and what's going on here as well oh, god sometimes it's what it is <laughs> I'm, I'm getting easily distracted but what it is is people come, come up here they visit this thing and then they come back and do it again. It's an endless loop. Now, yeah, they're just driving around here. You see? This is all they do. Every day. They don't do anything else. I think it works out if I just redo this area. Uh, I think this is a normal road. Turn off, turn off collision, and then one-way streets. There, and there. Please, for the love of God, break out of that loop. Because I don't know, maybe maybe it doesn't quite. They don't quite realize that they have visited that area. So they get out of their car, and they come back in the, their, to the car, 
and then just try to visit it again and then again and again and again and that is what causing this traffic jam like people can't go to school because of this they could if they used another lane but <clears throat> how likely is that um let me go back to the uh, football uh, do we have something else I think if I search for match, and yeah, this is a nice pitch. Um, let's have um, yeah, let's have it here. So let's try to make it aligned. There, let's get rid of some trees. And I have, um, what's it called? Is that a stand? Yeah. Simple stand. This is also from the workshop. Can I probably place. I can. So I'll use, uh, what's it called? Prop line tool. Yeah, this is perfect. Oh, not perfect. Um. All right, let me just place it down. Then I'll use move it. Oh, God. <laughs> I didn't mean that. That was uh, my mistake. Let me just try to center those a little bit. Oh, uh, and we of course need it on the other side as well. So let's copy this. Turn it around. Now going back to the um, to the DLC talk. The, uh, the main reason why I, I thought I wanted to buy it was because of the f um, fishing uh, industry. I think that's been um, that's been missing, and I uh, think that would be a cool addition. But after seeing the trailer that dropped uh, yesterday, I sort of changed my mind, and I think now I'm most excited by uh, the. Um, by the new metro uh, all the other stuff like the new uh, was it the new metro no not the, the new transport hubs uh, yeah sure I'll take it but uh, but is it really needed like you could just make your own hubs you know uh, yeah, let's have it both places on both both ends. All right. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to the uh, the metro at least. Um, and I'm still, of course, um, pretty pretty excited about the fishing fishing thing. I think it has a lot of potential uh, when it comes to. Um, water in this game I think uh, right now at least my uh, my ocean or lake or whatever completely dead uh, there's nothing there uh, you can fill it up with fairies but um, I think it will be even cooler seeing a lot of um, smaller fishing boats going around so I'm very much looking forward to that thing uh, let me have a roll going. Let, let, let it go here. No, it should be a parking lot. Of course. I don't even recognize myself anymore. I didn't even think about that. Uh, it does have parking here, but uh, all right, a little less parking here. There we go. There we go. Uh, so let's 
use a path so we can get a nice um, oh god a nice uh, like asphalt edge to this area because using the uh, paint like brush here it only um, it's very difficult to have this going straight you always end up with uh, you know these jagged lines if you want to have it going this way but that's how the mod works uh, but this is a nice way to to do that if you are struggling uh, you know what let's keep this side uh, dirt <laughs> uh, oh uh, you know what maybe I'll try Let's see how this one looks. Just get a little bit of color in there. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Uh, all the way up to this point. This could possibly go all the way around. Like on the inside. Between the stands and the pitch. It could. But... Uh, no, no, too much work. <laughs> oh god. I want this area painted. But it. It gets these little areas that doesn't get painted. I can live with that. Oh, auto save. Let's also fill in this area and the back lots as well. All of them. Uh, not this one. This one can be filled with trees. And I'm using the generic tree pack by Lost Gecko. If you were wondering, I have been using that since the start of the series. The reason is because the map, uh, which is in my mods and asset collection in the description, uh, it's um, originally filled with those trees. So I just thought, I'll just keep it. They're good looking trees and very good for the uh, uh, FPS, I think. <laughs> um, so let's do some fences here. We gotta fence it off. This one's nice. But this one should probably be open when I think about it. Uh, let me get a segment out. What I realized actually is you can click on this button. I don't know if this is new, but it's a network filters. And then you could, um, let's say I want fences. Uh, double click on that and then it will only choose the fences which is really cool move it is a great mod i think the uh, guy who uh, he didn't make it but he um, has been adding a lot to it uh, cuboid has done a really great job so this will be sort of like um, i don't know what it's called but you you queue up here just a barrier so it's easy to get a larger group of people in although well there is room for a lot of people here actually so it's not a not a small stadium uh, how does this look in there nope it doesn't look too good so if I were to choose you There we go. There we go. Um, do I have a... Do I have a building? Uh, let me just... Uh, like... Like this. 
which can be like a ticket uh, ticket booth is it this way yeah and then I'll uh, I'll do it here grill there's not a lot of space for it but uh, I can move things around, can't I? So this one can be here. There. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Get yourself a hot dog before the game. Um, I'll, I'll have to fill up this one as well with uh, with the parking lots. It's not completely uh, flat. I think that's the reason why it's. Uh, no, I think it's actually this pathway who uh, that uh, ruins it a little bit. If I were to move it like that, there we go. There we go, and let me just get this area as well. It overlaps a little bit. Don't care. Um, and yeah, we should actually fence this whole area off. Just to be, uh, just to be safe. Uh, I assume this would actually be an exit, but maybe this is a closed fence, so that you can exit on multiple sides, or maybe you can enter as well on multiple sides. But uh, uh, no, <laughs> no, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> But what I was uh, looking at was, was another prop I found, not math, god, <laughs> match, uh, video screen. I, it's, it's pretty big. I just give up. <laughs> that is quite genius um, and quite depressing, but I don't think it fits, uh, it doesn't really it's not a big enough stadium to, uh, to have a video screen of that size, but uh, that looks pretty good in my opinion. Uh, then I can fill in this area probably with uh, trees, and then have the um, the other stadium here. Or maybe I can just say I'll uh, play both, but uh, right now it they're playing a f soccer game. Uh, could be a thing. Uh, this is uh, how is this looking? All right, let me let me let me check something. All right, this person, this old man, he's going to the Lost Red Plaza, but he just he's just been there. All right. All right. Um, he's going to tennis court. That's his trailer. Um, Alright, look at Anna Campbell. Just just look at her. She's a tourist, she's uneducated. That explains a lot because she's gonna do something extremely stupid now. Right, she's driving to the last red plaza, which is this thing here. Oh where she Okay, that's her. She got out of the car, now she's walking in the middle of the road. Uneducated, as I said. She's just walking right past it. And then she's getting in a car. And then she's driving to the Luster Plaza. Should I? I should probably delete this. Tell you all to bugger off before I uh, plop it down again. Uh, where is it? There it is. Maybe something to do with um, that it's I moved it quite far into the road. Um, but I, I, yeah, I won't take any risk. So I'm gonna keep this uh, where it is. Maybe it turns out better, but um, the traffic is gone, so that's good. 
Um, how long have we been going on for? Too long. Um, let me just quickly go back to the uh, to this area. And yeah, there you go. I didn't really want this, but what do you know? It uh, just happened. Um, I should lower this one, actually. Come to think of it, it's a bit too steep. Uh, this is fine. Um, yeah, that is um, <laughs> that is traffic issue gotten rid of um, cool works out fine yeah as I said didn't really want want it like this I did want a intersection however uh, doesn't go quite to plan actually so um, but this works of course there is a traffic jam here but it's off it's not on the main road so it's uh, but why is it that the traffic issue? Oh my god! <laughs> it's just issue after issue. This is. Uh, yeah, what is this? There's a lot of people just came from the train station. Uh, eventually, I'll turn off intercity trains. I only want regional trains to come to the main train station in the capital and I'm gonna set up lines that is the only one that's gonna go out here so it shouldn't be too bad it's really bad now <laughs> it's really bad oh god uh, but anyways that is pretty much it for this episode um, I'm looking forward to the DLC but I am sort of hesitant to, um, to to speak too fondly of it because uh, yeah well, I was sort of looking forward to maybe a sequel maybe they still are working on a sequel because I as I said it looks like all of the new things coming to this DLC it's just things that didn't quite make it to other DLCs like they thought uh, for mass transit that uh, no maybe we should um, create a aviation club or um, intercity trains and then they were like no it's uh, screw that let's do this instead we don't have time to work on that as well uh, and the same with uh, industries you know oh how about fishing industry how about we uh, incorporate that one and then wait and then and then they went like no it's uh, it's too much we already have or uh, farming, forest, and oil, uh, it's too much. So it, it seems like all the things that were scrapped for other stuff is now being a part of uh, the, uh, the DLC. Um, so that could maybe mean that this is a DLC that they sort of scraped together just to buy themselves a little bit more time and uh, get a little bit more cash as they were working on a sequel that could be the case because they don't they didn't need a single a whole year on this one because they usually pump out every half year or every half a year but the campus DLC was uh, I came out like nine months ago maybe maybe even a whole year I can't remember but it's been a year close to a year since the uh, campus DLC which was the last DLC and I just no, can't imagine that they used a whole year on Sunset Harbor. Uh, so uh, that is my thought on that. Um, I'd love to hear your ideas in the comment section below. Um, really happy if you actually managed to watch the whole thing. Uh, this was very much laid back. It was sort of like a live stream, I feel like. Uh, which is something I want to do pretty soon. Uh, be sure to... Uh, keep an eye out on a upload this Sunday um, if you're watching this after Sunday then it's probably been out already but do watch that it's it is quite good um, I, I spent a lot of time working on it and it's a uh, 
a series where I, where I can uh, unfold a little bit more when it comes to creating or creativity I, uh, when it comes to editing uh, my movies or my, my videos because I don't really get to get too creative uh, when creating like these kinds of videos but uh, or I do when I play the game but not in the edit editing part then it's more like um, I just do what has to be done uh, but uh, in this new series uh, it's a very much focus on cinematography and editing and all of that um, audio picking out the right noises sound effects uh, songs all of it so I'm, I'm really happy with how it turned out and there are also huge announcements coming in that video so be sure to check that one out and i hope you're doing well i hope your relatives are doing well um this is uh, for most people this is sort of a boring time you have to like stay at home i have to um i'm not like under quarantine but uh I, I stay at home because I know there are other people who might not have a good of a immune system that I do. Maybe they're just old or maybe they have some sort of disease that, that you know, uh, makes it so that the immune system isn't functioning as well as others. Uh, maybe they got asthma or something, uh, something that, you know, is makes it that your lungs doesn't operate as good as others so that's why i'm staying at home because i don't want to risk um turning my grandparents sick for example because uh, i don't know if i were to get it i would make it of course but uh, not everyone could so yeah it is quite a sad time and it looks like it's gonna be like this for a while so uh, stay safe out there and uh, watch a lot of YouTube. That's what I've been doing. Uh, I've been watching a lot of weird YouTube videos. <laughs> I just, I need help. Anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, I think we did uh, well today with fixing up some traffic and getting this thing down. And I uh, thank you all for watching. Hope to see you soon. Bye for now.